But when you're working in web development, you're going to be dealing with JSON a lot. And if you ever get into DevOps and like writing bash scripts, you're often going to have to deal with third party libraries such as the AWS SDK, which requests data and you can get that data back in JSON format. But often you want to be able to take that JSON response and do something with it. So in this example, we have the Pokemon API. If I go ahead and do that request and notice we get the JSON back, but it's in a really, really ugly format. So I'm going to use a tool called JQ, which I can run the same command, but I'm actually going to pipe it to JQ here. So let's just go ahead and copy this and run it in my terminal. And notice that we do get back the same response, but now it has a prettier format. But the real power of JQ allows you to kind of parse out the properties of the return JSON. For example, if I want to get the types array, I could just say dot types. And then if I run this command, you'll notice that it prints out just that one array of types here. And more specifically, if I wanted to get the first element of that array and get the slot numeric of one, I could simply say index zero dot slot. So now if I run this JQ command, notice that it prints out the one that we were expecting.